Stop right there, all my Ertzall lovers. Today, we speak about who is the most valuable player coming back for injury for Arsenal. We speak about Cochrane. How vital is he to the Arsenal team? And most importantly, is Barcelona the best attacking side you've seen come to the Emirates? All of that today on Arsenal Nation. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Arsenal Nation and I Am Poet. It's the show where Poet sits down with two wonderful individuals and talks about everything Arsenal. Now, the two guests I've got today are amazing. One's from Gunner Blog. His name is James, and he's got an Ertzall video, which is amazing. Give him a round of applause, people. <laughs> the next man is the man I argue with every single day, even on church day when I'm feeling extremely good about my life. It is Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV. Round of applause. Now we're speaking about three different subjects today. First of all, we'll be speaking about who's the most influential player to come back from injury. We'll also be talking about Francis Coughlin. How vital is he to the team? Is he the most important player? Or is there other players that you feel are a little bit more important? But at the top of the show, we speak about a team that came to the Emirates in 2016. And I'll tell you what, they definitely played amazing football. Barcelona, champions of Spain. The question is, is that the best side? to ever grace the Emirates, a.k.a. the carpet, like I love to call it. I love to call it the carpet, in fact. Uh, James, has the carpet seen a better team than Barcelona? I'm not sure it has. Certainly not the Emirates Stadium. I mean, this side are awesome. They are awe-inspiring. And it's a lot to do with that front three, Messi, Neymar, Suarez. More than 90 goals between them this season. We couldn't stop them. I don't think many sides will. I've never seen a side with so much attacking power. They're the best for me who's ever been to the Emirates. Robbie, talk to me. Uh, you know what? Barcelona, what are you saying? You know what? I'm going to come a bit controversial with this. I know everybody's uh, on a little Barcelona loving, but I'm going for Bayern Munich. And why is that, Robbie? Because we right, beat Bayern Munich. I know we Munich. lost. Yeah, I know I know what you're going to say, we lost to them and that, but the, the question was the better team, ah. right? As a team, I think Bayern Munich, from the, you know, right from the back to the front, as an all-round team, is better. They've got an amazing goalkeeper, best in the world, without a doubt, in Neuer. Um, in defence, they've got guys like Philip Lahm, you know, uh, Alaba. Um, they've got an incredible midfield as well. And up front, they're pretty decent up front as well. I mean, you know, don't forget, they've got Thomas Muller, World Cup winner. They've got Lewandowski, uh, one of the hottest strikers in the world. They can either have Robin or Douglas Costa. Yes, we did beat them, but we rode our luck a lot in that game. And I think that as a team, let's take out, you know, the, the, the romance of that front three for Barcelona. As an actual team, I think Bayern are a better team. Robbie's right. When Lewandowski came to the Emirates, he was in superb form at that time and we did pretty well to shackle him. What I'd say is if this Bayern side are all Robbie says they are, then they better go on and win the Champions League. And I can't see it. I can't see anybody stopping this Barcelona side. A lot, of it, awesome. a lot of it, as I said, is the romance. You know I mean? We get caught What do you mean by the romance? I'm not a romantic three. person. I've never been in love. I don't even love <laughs> well, with Well, I am a bit of a romantic. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> that front three, listen, when, you, when you're there on the day and you're watching them play, they are outstanding, right? But for me, the all-round threat of Bayern Munich, I think they are a better team. And I, I got a feeling that they will win the Champions League this year. Well, we love Barcelona, mm -hmm. we love Bayern Munich, and we also love Arsenal. One man I love quite a bit is something that didn't really have at the Emirates for a long time. That sort of dirty DM. That guy that doesn't get a haircut before a Sky Sports game. He says, scrap all that, I want to come out and I want to win that ball for absolutely anyone. Graham Souness actually said, Arsenal didn't have a player that he didn't mind. Like, he, was, he let all the Arsenal players go out of his door. He wanted a player that's a little bit dirty. I'll tell you what, Manchester City 2-0 away from home at Etihad or Etihad, Francis Cochrane was born. The question is, how vital is he to this Arsenal team? Is he the most important player? Did you see the way I just prepped him there, Robbie? I've made this guy seem as good as me. Is he the most important player at Arsenal? It, listen, he's very, very important, but I think this season the most important player is Meza Ozil. I mean, Ozil is a guy that makes everything click. If Ozil's on fire, Arsenal are on fire. And you saw, let me give you an example, that game the other day, right, against Leicester City, he comes up in that moment. It required the perfect delivery. And Meza Ozil, under extreme pressure, what did he do? He delivered the perfect delivery. Um, um, delivery and we scored and we won a vital game. And but I think Robbie, that's just Ozil one example, is though. vital. That's one example. Francis Cochrane, when he plays for Arsenal, we have a higher win percentage. Surely yeah. that means something, James. I think you're right. I think you're right, Poet. Basically, Ozil is superb. You're right, Robbie. He's a brilliant creative player, but he needs that platform. And without Cochrane, 
Ozil doesn't get it. There's nobody else in the squad with his particular collection of attributes. No one who can match that feisty attitude, that brilliant tacting, uh, tackling, sorry, that simple ball-playing ability. He is unique, and that is why he needs to be in the team every single time. Yeah, but but James minute, said... Well, sorry to while, stop you there. James said he needs that platform. In, so you say, without... Ertzul, Cochrane, well, sorry, without Cochrane, Ertzul cannot play well. He needs, but then surely Cochrane's been injured for a yeah, little that's while. That's what I was going to say. Ertzul's still how, playing well, surely. Is that yeah, right? that's what I was going right to say. Right? Look how long, look how long he's been out, Cochrane. Right? Listen, I, don't get me wrong. Vital player, very important player for our running. But for me. If Ozil's out, where's the creativity going to come from? At the moment, he's the best player in the Premier League, bar none. But Robbie, and take this He has to be in that team. If we're going to win the Premier League, Ozil has to be in that team from now till the end of the season. I don't think anyone would disagree with that, but when you've got a luxury player like Ozil, as good as he is... He's, he's not gonna a luxury. Give, he's going to give Stop away the ball. Poet, he's get, I hate out. this word. Hear I hate out. this word, luxury. He's not a luxury. It, right? a luxury he is not a luxury. quite expensive and flamboyant and looks really nice. You think to yourself, wow, that's gorgeous. I'd love to have that in my house. He looks like a luxury. Is that, is that a bad thing? Not at all. He's 40, what, 41.2 million. That's a luxury. What I will say to you is this. Look, Ertzil, he's going to give away the ball a lot more than any other player on the pitch because he's always going to take that risky pass. But if he gives it away and we've got no one to defend it, then what happens, James? I think that's right. You know, Cochrane was out in the winter and Ozil <laughs> did still excel in that time. But didn't our back four look much more exposed in that period too? When we had Aaron Ramsey and Matthew Flamini there and no Cochrane, wasn't the midfield that much more porous? Wasn't it that much easier to hit us on the counter-attack? Cochrane is superb. He is so important to the side. He protects the defence, he marshals the midfield, he gives structure and balance. I think Ozil's a brilliant player, don't get me wrong. He could well be player of the year. Cochrane a bit less heralded, but for me, even more important. If you saw some of the games that we've had recently where they've been really, really tight, yeah. you need somebody who's got that extra bit of ability and creativity to unlock these sort of defences. When you come up against these teams that are constantly parking the bus and goalkeepers having a worldie, you need someone who's going to unlock it. Who is that player that has kept Arsenal bubbling along, ticking along, giving us these results, Mesut Ozil, his assists, his creativity, that guy, we cannot afford to be without him right All now. All right, we're going to stop Robbie there. World he class. clearly has... I love the guy. For, I, I, <laughs> we can tell, mate. I'm also a Mesut Ozil lover, as we all know. So there you have it. You've heard from the boys what they think about Francis Cochrane. The question is, Gunner fans, what do you think about Francis Cochrane? Leave a comment and let us know. Because now it's time for us to move on to social lives and we talk to the very gorgeous man that is... Callum Chambers. Come on, Callum. Come on, son. Come on. Probably go on social most days. My weapon of choice would be Instagram. My best mate on Instagram. I'm probably in a lot of pictures with Chamber. I follow Rihanna, so if she could follow me back, that would be great. There's an Urzu social media game some point. I'm really jealous. The person who does the worst posts and struggles on social media has to be Pear Mertesacker. He's always, well, whenever I post something, he, he, he takes a mick out of me, but he never posts anything, and it's always boring, so it'd have to be him. OK, uh, it's time to see what you guys think about me. Oh, Callum Chambers, your head shape is disgraceful. <laughs> well, it's not. A moment of silence, please, for how hot Callum... Ch oh, Jessica Sayers. Sayers, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. What is a Callum Chambers? Full stop. I don't know really what that's supposed to mean. Callum Chambers looks like Jedward. <laughs> that one actually hurt the most, I think. That was Callum Chambers. What an amazing individual. Now, I did at the start of the show say I'm going to have two guests, but here at Arsenal Nation, we make our own rules. We have got a third guest. He's on Skype. His name's Kevin. I'll let him do the rest. What's going on, Kev? Hey, how's it going? How are you? I'm doing excellent. How about yourselves? I'm not too bad, bit hot. Where are you? I'm in Portland, Oregon. Oh my lord, what are you doing there? Do you live there? I do live here. Well, welcome to London, mate, in the brief time that you're going to be here on Skype. Not in real person, but on Skype. It's, it's beautiful. I can, I can feel the love right here. It's oh, nice. bless you. All right, the question we're <laughs> going to ask you, uh, Robbie, can you also say hello? James, can you also say hello to Kevin? Hey, Kevin. How you doing, mate? How you doing? All right, the Good question night. we're asking, is uh, the most influential player coming back from injury in this title race. I'm going to go with you, Kev, first. I, God, there's so many people that you could... I mean, of all the four guys that have been out, I mean, each one of them brings back something. I mean, Welbeck showed what he could do with that goal against Leicester. Yeah. And uh, Kuzor, uh, uh, 
Coquelin has been fantastic with, uh, you know, coming back and just providing that steal in the middle. Wilshire, his combative, you know, attacking style, I, I really look forward to that coming back. But for me, it's got to be Santi Cazorla. I think that the creativity that he brings, um, you know, the assists and, and the, the, the goals from here, you know, from time to time just really is something that, that we desperately need in the midfield. And, you know, I also want to hear Seven Nation Army kind of, you know, going through the Emirates a lot. I kind of miss that. But what about Jack? There, are, there have been moments in him in an Arsenal shirt that have been absolutely incredible, single-handedly running games. Do we miss Jack? And what type of impact can he have, lads, coming back? James. Listen, I think Wilshire's a great player, but even if he comes back to fitness, I'm not sure he's going to be an automatic starter in this team. I think in the deep midfield position, Cazorla will be ahead of him, and I think in the number 10 role, Ozil's going to be ahead of him. So he'll be a boost to the squad, but I don't see him making a huge impact on the first team. Uh, Welbeck, his pace... He looks so sharp at the moment. He, he looks like a guy that's just had a pre-season and is just so happy to be back. And we, we've missed his pace and we've also missed his hard work. If you've got him on one wing and, say, you've got Alexis on the other wing, you've got two players who work their socks off going forward and coming back, which, again, protects that back four, will keep more clean sheets and we're more of a threat going forward. And that guy whelps. He's that gonna be guy, a, well, that well guy Kevin, we're going to go right board. back to you, even though you're not with us, you're with us in spirit and on Skype. Let us know who you think is the most important player coming back. That one, one player. I'm still sticking with Cazorla. He's sticking I, I, with Santi Cazorla. Sticking with Santi Cazorla. You I stuck it on the wall, mate. All right, James, what do you reckon? Well, I'm going to stick with Danny Welbeck in that case. I think he's already made a massive contribution against Leicester and there could be more to come. Robbie, you're not going to agree with any of these guys, are you? It's the rock, man. Coquelin. Oh, he's he's going to... That shield, that human shield in front of the back four, he's going to be the most important. So, do we miss the flair of Santi, the pace of Welbeck, the passion of man like Jack, even that defensive steal of Francis Cochrane? Leave a comment and let us know who you think is going to be the most important player coming back. But it is time for us to move on to another segment here at Arsenal Nation, and it's In Case You Missed It. You must know Stormzy. If you don't, you're talking about a guy that's got number eight in the charts of a Grime song. The only problem is, he's a Man United fan. We shouldn't be speaking about him here. But, if you've seen the video, Arsene Wenger's face on his has been all over the internet, killing it with the memes. Gunner Blog decided to put his own twist on things. Check this out. Yo, state your name, cuz. Mess suit, innit? What are we doing today? Assistant, innit? Yeah. All right, moving away from Stormzy, and moving on to a gift sent to us by Frez Noel Gunas. This is incredible. It is Michael Jordan and Welbeck as one man. That's evolving. That's Danny Welbeck for you. But anyway, let's move on to another player that will evolve into something great, Mr. Iwobi, and find out what he likes to have at Nando's. I normally get five wings, medium, chips, garlic bread, and a soft drink. Five wings, I say whole chicken. Last the whole season. Apart from that, not a bad order. Now, look, if there's anything else we have missed and you want to let us know, leave a comment below and give us all the information and then hopefully we can speak about it here next time. All right, there we have it, people. Remember, leave comments about everything you have seen today. Let us know all the information. Leave comments about all the football you're going to see in the next month. It's time for us to say goodbye. We're about, you know, we've got to say goodbye to Robbie. Give him a round of applause to Rob. Goodbye, Robbie. We love you. Got to say goodbye to James. God. Hey, Kev! Here in spirit, we've got to say goodbye to you. You're an incredible person. We love you. All right, everyone at Arsenal Nation, take care. And remember, we love Brazil. Meza Azil. It's actually we got Azil, innit? Yeah, but we, I gotta go anyway, I just got things to do.